Hi everyone, we now learn about the chain rule for differentiation. Which is the method we use to differentiate composite functions? And to learn it, we're going to work through the three examples that we see here. Looking at this first example, we need to differentiate y which is equal to sine of 3x squared plus 1. Looking at this, we can see quite clearly that we're dealing with a composite function. And so to differentiate it, we use the chain rule, which states that if y is equal to some function f of another function, which I'll call u of x, then its derivative dy dx is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u, so that's dy du, times the derivative of u with respect to x, so that's du dx. And if you hadn't seen this before, do make a note of it now. This is known as the chain rule for differentiation. And here's how it works. Going back to this first example here, we can see that y is equal to sine of 3x squared plus 1. And so if we let this inner function 3x squared plus 1 be u of x, in other words, if we define a new variable u as being equal to 3x squared plus 1, then we can rewrite our function in terms of this new variable u. And that would be y equals to sine of u. Now that that's done, we look at the chain rule and see that we need to find dy du as well as du dx. Well, for du dx, all we have to do is differentiate u with respect to x. And by all means check, but using the power rule, we quickly find that du dx is equal to 6x. Now we find dy du, and for that, well, we differentiate this sine of u in the same way that we would differentiate a function of x. The only difference being, it's now a function of u. In other words, dy du is equal to cosine of u. We now have both dy du as well as du dx, and so we can apply the chain rule and state that dy dx equals to dy du times du dx, where dy du is equal to cosine of u, and du dx is equal to 6x. So that's cosine of u times 6x. And to finish, we write our answer only in terms of x. In other words, we replace u by 3x squared plus 1. So that's dy dx equals to cosine of 3x squared plus 1 times 6x. And that's the answer. We've just differentiated this composite function using the chain rule. Let's look at the second example. We need to differentiate f of x, which equals to ln of 2x minus 5. Well, to begin with, let me say that if you want to, you can rewrite this as y equals to ln of 2x minus 5. And that's just for the sake of comparing it to the chain rule we have here. In other words, we're allowed to rewrite this as y equals to ln of 2x minus 5. Now that that's done, we follow the same approach as we did here. That is, we start by calling the inner function, which in this case is 2x minus 5, u of x. And in fact, I'll write that on the side here. We have u of x, which equals to 2x minus 5. And we can therefore rewrite y in terms of this new variable u. That is, we can go ahead and state that y is equal to ln of u. And now looking back at the chain rule here, we know that we need to find dy du as well as du dx. And for that, we start by differentiating y with respect to u, which leads to dy du equals to 1 over u. And we differentiate u with respect to x, which quickly leads to du dx equals to 2. And so using the chain rule, we can go ahead and state that dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx. Now replacing dy du by 1 over u and du dx by 2, we see that this is equal to 1 over u times 2. Finally, replacing u by 2x minus 5 and multiplying the numerator by 2, we can state the final answer as dy dx 
equals to 2 over 2x minus 5. And that's the answer. We move on to the third and final example in which we have to differentiate y which equals to the square root of 3 cosine of x. Well, once more, we start by defining the inner function, which in this case is 3 cosine of x, as u of x. And as always, I write my new variable on the side here. I have u, which is equal to 3 cosine of x. Now that that's done, I can rewrite y in terms of u, which would be y equals to the square root of u. And now, looking at the chain rule, we can see that we'll need dy du as well as du dx. And I'll start with dy du. We'll have dy du is equal to 1 over 2 times the square root of u. Now, looking at u, which equals to 3 cosine of x, its derivative with respect to x would be du dx, and that's equal to negative 3 sine of x. And now that we have both dy du as well as du dx, we can go ahead and apply the chain rule and state that dy dx equals to dy du times du dx, where dy du is 1 over 2 times the square root of u, which in terms of x would be 1 over 2 times the square root of 3 cosine of x, and du dx, well, that's negative 3 sine of x. So dy dx equals to 1 over 2 times the square root of 3 cosine of x times, in parentheses, negative 3 sine of x. And just to be clear, I wrote this in parentheses to avoid confusing this negative with a subtraction. Finally, multiplying the numerator by negative 3 sine of x, we can state our final answer as dy dx equals to negative 3 sine of x over 2 times the square root of 3 cosine of x. And that's the final answer. And so that's how to differentiate composite functions using the chain rule for differentiation. And that's it for this tutorial.